Hey guys, we're going to continue with our text structure. Um, we've been talking about sequencing, which is putting things in order from first, next, then last, which can look a lot of different ways. Maybe like a life cycle, and maybe this is different events. Um, but also, we have chronological order. It's the same idea. It's putting things how they happen in order. Again, this may look like first, next, then last, but you'll notice with chronological order, you'll often see dates also, or moments in time. So in a fictional story, you might say, first, we went to the park, next, we ate our snack, last, we went home. But in this case, with nonfiction, it's putting very specific things in order. It's important they follow this order because maybe it's how something is born and grows up, or maybe it's the different years over which something happened, or different times of the day in which things happen. So it's really important you keep your events in order to keep things factual and true. Um, you can also be called sequence or time order. Um, you'll hear either of those words, they're interchangeable, which means you can kind of use them for one another, they mean the same thing. Um, so I want you to think about why might an author use chronological order to write about this frog? What could you tell me about a frog that you might have to put in chronological order? Hopefully you're able to come up with the life cycle of a frog. That's definitely something that would be put in chronological order. Um, you'll know that you're reading a text that's in chronological order because you'll see first, next, later, then finally. These are words that are telling you in which the events occur. So again, directions. This might be like a how-to type thing. So have you ever made macaroni and cheese? It's simple. First, boil some water and make some macaroni. Then make your cheese sauce. After the cheese sauce is ready, mix it with macaroni. Bake the entire thing in the oven. Finally, it's time to eat. So we did this with carving a pumpkin. We put our events in order, um, which can look like directions, like in this case. These are some words we worked on when we were using our directions as well. Um, we told it, we were saying that it tells our reader like exactly how to follow the steps. And we already discussed, but if we put these events out of order, it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. Or if we don't use these transition words, it might be a little bit confusing. Boil some water, make your cheese sauce, the cheese is ready, it's time to eat. These transition words help people, keeps it clear, helps them follow the directions, make sure the steps are definitely in order. So I want you to figure out which paragraph is in chronological order. So let me read your first choice. Pennsylvania has many historic sites. You can visit Revolutionary War sites like Valley Forge. You can also visit important locations from the Civil War, like Gettysburg. Finally, you can also see the site of the first oil well in Titusville. Pennsylvania has many neat places to visit. All right, here's your second choice. Through the ages, Pennsylvania has seen many interesting events. The state was founded in 1681 by William Penn. Later, Pennsylvania was the site of an important Revolutionary War battles. After that, Pennsylvania was home to new factories during the Industrial Revolution. Today, Pennsylvania continues to make history. So which one of these is in chronological order? You need to look for those transition words. Is it putting moments of time? Is it giving important events? So this one on the right, hopefully we're able to figure it out. And what clue words led you to figuring out this one is in chronological order? Through the ages, that's definitely showing a change in time is definitely gonna be chronological order. Often if you see dates, that's gonna be chronological order. And then we see our transition words here, later, after that, today. So we know we can kind of think of that timeline in our head, right? From 1681 to today. All right, so I want you guys to remember today, I want you to keep thinking about what is a text structure um, I know they all look different, but what, what is it? Why is it written that way? Um, and what does chronological order mean? 
what does this really mean? The word chronological is big, but I want you to kind of come up with your own definition in your head of what this looks like. Um, and then also, what are some clue words that show chronological order? Um, I do have your graphic organizer sent to you that will help you with that. Um, but we're going to continue to explore this today with using a timeline.